So we are inside of Pride Truck Sales in Atlanta, Georgia. And uh, yeah, they just changed the module that goes right under the truck over there somewhere. So the fifth wheel now is opening and closing. This is the guys that takes care of their trucks here. Trucks Fleet Mobile Service. If you guys are in Atlanta area and you need a mobile service, full service, man, full service. And this is the guys here, look. We got him. What up, Jeff? Hey, man, how we doing, man? Ready to go, huh? Yes, bro. Thank you very much, man. Yes, sir. You're the best. They can have another T680 over there and a blue one there. Nice. See, this is this is uh the pins that was a uh, stock over there. Those that one and that one was not opening, so the fifth wheel can go back and forth on this uh, on this rails. So now it's working. Open. So we're not just gonna open up. So you can see see that. Close. Good. Like bread and butter, man. These guys are good. So we had to wait for the part because the module took like three days to get here. But uh, you know, they got it done. And uh, this is the number to call. His name is Jeff, really cool guy. He takes care of the whole fleet here. Because they have this big shop, but they don't have a mechanic. So, so Jeff and his partner stays here all day. Let's see, he's doing the other truck over there. So, uh, yeah, if you guys need anything, and that's it, we're good to go. Um, uh, and now I'm just gonna check the oil since I'm here in the level surface. Just gonna check the oil, the antifreeze, and do like a little pre trip inspection. And the trailer, we left the trailer in the side of the building, so uh, yeah, we got about half a tank, uh, antifreeze water in there let me see how is the uh, the antifreeze here in this side yeah we good yeah boy right on the line yeah so uh this this cap here was bad too that cap over there and uh and they changed it so it stopped the leak that was the only thing that was wrong here in the motor so we would have like a lot of leak uh, over there with just a spray because it was leaking in the fan and then the fan was turning was splashing all over the place so it was splashing over there by the filter and uh now it's good we just gotta wash it because it's really 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 dirty but every time we go out it's raining so we're just gonna check the oil should be good boy. That's it, right in the row. We're going to the terminal, which is 20 minutes, half an hour from here. Yeah, we're good. We are good boy. So no oil leaks, no antifreeze leaks anymore. Now the fifth wheel works. Everything working as supposed to properly. And that's it guys, so all right for this keep it up let's keep it up so i really recommend pride truck sales you know my boy jeff he's the salesperson if you guys in atlanta look for jeff and then jeff is also uh the name of the mechanic here so it's jeff for the salesperson and it's jeff for the mechanic so you can't go wrong looking for a garbage here so you can throw this thing <laughs> anyways uh Let's go, going back to the terminal now. Now we got the fifth wheel ready. It's time to feel the big bellies. <laughs> Look where we're coming. So we left the trailer over there at the dealer and we're gonna eat some good Italian wannabe food. Hungry, all the time hungry. Always hungry, always hungry. All right, guys. So we're gonna eat now, and Looks then we're gonna in. we gotta go back to to get the trailer. We left at the dealer uh, at Pride Truck Sales, and then we gotta go back there. It's only ten minutes away. Oh, 
Salad. Calamari. Last time. Let's go. Make it rain. <laughs> Thank you. Chicken farm. We are both super sad right now. <laughs> Full. An hour for sleep. Yeah. Probably gonna take a nap here. And and we got to go. Oh yeah. We bought, we bought uh, uh, different plates to go. So we have a microwave and everything, so we're gonna eat later. Oh boy, now we're going to the terminal because we couldn't find any load. And then from there, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so just got to the terminal. Doing a little post-trip inspection here. And we're just gonna chill until we get another load. Thank God they delivered earlier for us. We ate good. No stress. Let me see here. Oh shit. There's my fucking name. That fucking dog poop over here, man. Pick up your shit, motherfucker. Fucking people, man. They're dirty, man. Anyways. All good. So, uh, we're gonna try to find a load. We're gonna chill here for today. And then, uh, hopefully. We're gonna find something tomorrow morning and then that's it i'll keep you guys posted we finally got a load going from bubble back to bubble we so <laughs> we're going from uh georgia to texas close to san antonio we're still in the terminal since yesterday so we ready to roll. Miss Dispatcher here found the load, so. Finally. Thank God she was looking because <laughs> I didn't see that load coming up in the board. We got a brand new trailer here. DB Schenker trailers are all new. But. No, we're just gonna drop it. So we don't need no new trailer. We're gonna drop it off. It's a Walmart load. It's a dropping hook on the pickup and dropping hook on the delivery. And then right across the street from terminal is a US Express another bullshit company <laughs> all right man yeah we're not we're not happy here man to be honest this company here it's not giving what we came for but life goes on we're gonna see what we're gonna do we're not seeing money in this company as a company uh, as an owner operator it is what it is Let's go. Here we are. A Walmart facility. Just grab the load. Just got a little lock over there. Woo, we got tools for days, boy. Got a jump cable, everything. I just gotta record this. Look at how dirty it is. It was in the mud. I'm gonna put a lock because we're gonna stay with this to tomorrow. It might stop to to sleep somewhere. And it's good to have a lock in there. We are ready with Miss Super Trucker. 10 now going to uh, New Brownsfield it's close to San, San, uh, San Antonio, Texas 
and um, yeah man so this is the second red flag about this company man the first load we got they canceled and then now they just canceled the load like three days ago on Friday that we had like four loads in schedule we had work until Monday man and um, so they canceled that load from the last video if you guys watched the last video you're gonna see and then because they canceled that load we had to cancel three other loads because it was going you know like six seven hundred miles away so we couldn't go all the way empty and they didn't have any load to replace the one that cancels and uh and the situation yesterday we got stuck in the terminal because uh they put a they put our truck out of service so we called safety to see what's going on and they said they put my truck out of service because of inspection we we went through a level one inspection with the company's truck when when we were driving uh you know as a company drivers this was like two three weeks ago and then we sent the paperwork to the manager you know the, the driver manager but i guess she never put in the system so now they put our truck out of service because um you know it's like we never turned in the paperwork from the dot inspection and uh so then we send it over again and because it was friday it took a little bit over you know it was a uh, actually it was not it was not because it was friday it was because it was over overnight uh the overnight people that was that was uh you know working on so they can't do anything so we had to wait until today in the morning so we called the uh, um the safety again and we resend the paperwork and then they cleared our truck but yesterday was a nice load man it was a recovery load uh somebody's truck broke down and we had to go pick it up it was, it was like 100 miles away but it was gonna pay good and uh we couldn't get the load because our truck was out of service i was like what the fuck man so now we had no loads today in the morning we had no loads and then this load coming to texas came up and it, it, it's paying crap man we basically just took it because it was a dropping hook and a pickup and a, and a delivery so we're getting there like eight o'clock in the morning that's what he says here and then we can just uh you know try to find something else or we're gonna stay saturday and sunday off until monday but um you know it's a bunch of uh scenarios that's happening here that we're not happy with it you know we're forced to get crappy loads so we don't stay parked and then when something good comes up you know for some reason we can't pick up you know it, it, like this time was because of a because of a out of service uh and then we had like loads until monday and it would it would be like 60 four hundred dollars man sixty four hundred dollars of course gross but still we would be moving until monday you know so uh and now we only have this load and tomorrow we don't have any load so i don't know what's gonna happen we're gonna figure it out if we're gonna stay parked and you know where are we gonna drive close to dallas for monday because in in, in dallas is is better you know to pick up a load on monday than san antonio so we're gonna have to figure it out but yeah man since we became a uh, owner operator you know with this company we, we we saw both worlds so we've been a company driver here as a team and we're on operators now and i can tell you man we were making triple triple the money we're making as an owner operator and we have all the expenses and uh i'm definitely not complaining i'm happy with the truck you know i'm happy with the payments i'm happy with the you know with everything that's happening now but um you know it's just the situation with the company this company uh everybody i talk to says after db shanker took over uh they changed it a lot man they're taking like uh like a lot of the profits 
you know, and and keep it for themselves. So I don't know how people survive here, man. To be honest, <laughs> you know, it is what it is. Uh, we're gonna give a little a little more time to see if he, you know, if it happens. If you don't get better, we definitely gonna have to look for something else, man. There's no way we can stay here with their rates. And we're a team, man. We're a team where we can't make money. Imagine the solos. I, shit, man. I, I guarantee you, solo drivers here are starving, man. I guarantee you. It's like, it's no way. If someone works as a solo here and they say they're making money, they're definitely lying. They can be making money just to pay the bills. There's no way, no way, no way. Anyways, uh, I'm just kind of venting here because, uh, you know, as a company driver, this company is perfect, man. If you're a team and you come here as a company driver, they pay 81 cents a mile, everything, like loaded and empty. And and they have so many loads, Jesus Christ! Like we never stop. Like Sunday, Saturday, weekends, like every day they have loads. And now that we're on operator, all the loads disappeared. Like it, none of the loads I was doing as a as a company driver comes up on their load board. Nothing, zero. So owner operators here, they only left with the leftovers. Basically, that's what I'm seeing now, and. Uh, it is what it is so, so let's keep it up and uh we're almost there we have four more hours to get to the to the delivery and that's it i don't know what's come <laughs> what's what's next <laughs> i'll keep you guys updated so i just stopped at uh at the logs here and i just bought this thing man a couple of people saying it's good hot shot secret every day diesel treatment let's see if it works say it's good for the you know for the diesel it's, it's, it's good for 800 gallons of fuel I put half now because it's the first time I'm using so I already put half of it and uh, let's see if it's gonna work I'll show you what is my mileage now and let's see if it's gonna prove something <laughs> Okay, so now I'm at 7.9 average. Let's see if this is gonna improve something. He said, my, my boy that used these things, he say it's really, really good. Let's see if it works. Hello, how you doing boss?
here. Look at this. What a life. <laughs> we just gotta disconnect this trailer. And uh, we gotta drive uh, three miles, the guys say, up the road to get uh, empty. Uh, just hope there's something there because if not, we're gonna have to chase an empty. And that's not good. That's not good. Let's think positive and it's gonna be a bunch of empties there. <laughs> All right, I'll be right back. What's going on with this trailer? It's got a red tag over there. Let me see. check for the the leaks like right there in the seal so this one looks decent let's see how dirty it is inside oh it's pretty clean man gucci i think this is it man let me see this one this one looks good looks good See this one, it's leaking there, this one is good. Oh boy, oh, they changed all the screws here, that's good. <laughs> but it's, oh shit, look at this tire. What the fuck? Damn, explode everything here, look at this shit. Hell no, I'm not taking this trailer. <laughs> it's definitely out of service gonna check the tires on this one got both muff flaps oh she got a flat too there it is. I don't know if you can see in the video but it is no good it's another flat fuck <laughs> okay so that trailer the other trailer got a flat this one got a flat so I just see to have another one there so I'm gonna go over there, make sure. That's why you gotta check before you hook, man. Because after you hook, you put on the computer, it's yours. You better take that trailer to the mechanic. Hell no. So they have another one here. Let's see if this one is good. Let me go through here, cause uh, you know, even if I was super skinny, I wasn't I wasn't gonna fit in that thing. So, I always check the seals, man. Always check the seals. Okay, got both my flaps. That's a good thing. That's always missing my flap, too. Oh, shit, look at this. Fucking dirty, man. Shit, bro. I don't know what to do, man. I don't want to swap this thing. So, it up looking for another one let's go let's go yeah man i'm not i'm not gonna waste my time cleaning this shit man so i'm gonna look for another trailer it's more in the other side that side oh there's another one here i didn't even see that one so let's see if this one is good hopefully this one is good I don't know how am I supposed to take this thing out of here, but let's see, let's see, let's hope it's good. So tire looks full, tire's good, seals are good, see the seals looks like it's good, <laughs> let's see inside how it is. Uh, 
decent. It's not crazy dirty. You can't swap that one. All right, so this side here, I can't really check. Oh man, this is definitely a new muff flaps. The screws are brand new. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's good, man. The tires. Let's go. This is the one. Let me get out of here because I freaking get it. Get it locked. So this is the one. Five nine eight two three. Oh boy. Just trying to take this trailer out of here. It's no space, man. Super fucking tight. And we are done for today. We just stopped here at a pilot. Uh, close to 34, 35. Yeah, this is this is 35. And then the other side of the, the other again. side of the road. Yeah, and the other side of the road is a, a TA that we're going walking there to eat. So, but uh. I'd like to say thank you for everyone that's following us, watching our videos, yes. and follow, subscribe, and leave a like. With a, Just leave your comment. Leave your comment there. Suggestion. We will respond to them, suggestions. <laughs> Whatever you want is our channel. <laughs> Let's go.